Hey folks, uh, welcome to our beginner workout today. So today we're going to go through an upper, lower, and core workout. Um, so we'll be cycling through uh, those three types of exercises in each of our groups, okay? 30 seconds work, 10 seconds rest, with three sets as always. Um, and yeah, as we're going through the workout, we want to focus on make sure that you're going in your own pace. So again, you rest as you need, push as you need, uh, get the best workout for you. Make sure you're focusing on that technique so we get the most out of every exercise, and then let's just have a good time while we're going through the workout. Okay, so we're going to start warming up. We're going to start mobilizing the hips so we can move really nicely. So we're going to get down on the ground. Uh, front uh, leg is in a triangle here, so we've got that left knee in a uh, triangle position, right leg's pulled in behind me, hands on either side of the left, we're going to hinge forward, nice and tall, uh, feeling that stretch through the glute, so you can play with the ankle, if we want to come a little more into the middle, or if we feel more of a stretch over here, you do what's right for you, okay? Just sinking into that stretch. Okay, from there we're going to pop up, we're going to walk the hands away from the feet, we're looking over the left shoulder, nice big stretch to the front of our right leg. We're looking over that left shoulder, going to get lengthened through the front of that right leg. And yeah, that's great, we're going to hit the other side now, okay? So get that right leg in that triangle, left leg's pulling behind, hand on either side of the knee, nice and tall, we're going to hinge forward. Again, you find that angle that gives you the best stretch. Alright, from there we're going to pop up, we're going to walk the hands away, now we're looking over our right shoulder if you're following along with me. That's going to get you the stretch through the front of that left hip, lengthening everything there. Excellent, good work. Okay, so we're going to get up and we're going to start to add in the upper body. Um, so for the upper body, I'm just going to reach back with my right hand and then I'm going to bring my right elbow to my left hand. Okay, so stretch and then activating. Stretch, activating. Great, we'll hit the other side now. So reach back to the left, elbow to knee. Reach, elbow to knee. And that's great. Okay, and then the last thing we're going to do, we're going to kind of warm up the legs a bit and add in a bit of rotation. So I'm going to step forward into the lunge, so step on my left leg, and I'm going to rotate to the left. Okay, again, rotate to the left. Left. One more. Okay, now we're going to do the other side. So right, rotate to the right. And one more. And that's great. All right, so our first group, we're going to do a hip hinge rear delt fly. So um, we're going to hinge forward and uh, doing that rear delt fly. So we're working on the back of the shoulders. Uh, we'll do a sumo squat. So a squat with a nice wide stance. And then we're going to do a bird dog. So we'll be on all fours, um, extending one leg, extending the opposite arm. Okay? So, We'll get started. I'm going to start with that rear delt fly, so we're going to hinge forward, and then we're just doing that rear delt fly. So, raising the hands up, squeezing those shoulder blades together, uh, feeling it in the back of the shoulders, and in between the shoulder blades. Go whatever width is appropriate for you. Okay, you can have your hands out in front of you. 
do it if you want. You can have your hands here, or whatever feels right for you. If you want a little extra resistance, you can hold the dumbbell right here. And time. Okay, and then we just down on the hands and knees for the third dog pass. Down on the hands and knees. So I'm going to drive back uh, my left foot and I'm going to reach up my right arm. Okay? If that's a little bit too challenging, you can always just do the legs. Okay? So whatever uh, feels right for you. Keep the core tight as you're going through this one. Drive that heel back through your glute squeeze. So we got our first round down. Get ready for that rear delt fly. Set up. Hit you forward. Really focus on feeling that squeeze at the top. Shoulder blades drawn together. Good, so we'll grab a little uh, breather, grab a drink there, catch our breath before we get into 
Number two, that was good work. Okay, so we keep catching our breath there. Group two, we're going to do an incline push-up. So if we have um, some steps in our house, um, like couch, chair, whatever it may be, we need something nice and stable that we can do that incline push-up on. It could even be like a wall or something if we, uh, if we want, so find whatever's right for you. Uh, then we'll do our split squats, and then we'll do a bird dog crunch for our core. So it'll be the same setup, same movement out. The only thing we'll be doing is bringing the knee to the elbow, so getting that crunch action through that bird dog movement to target the core um, just a little bit more of that. Okay, so we'll take about uh, 10 seconds or so, get that last breath in, get a drink of water if you need, and then we're going to get into uh, group two. Okay, here we go. So, uh, two times to start. The core is nice and tight, nice full body movement. So everything should move together, the hips, the shoulders, uh, all in one smooth movement. Don't let the back drop. All right, so now we're getting ready for our split squat. So what we'll do is we'll switch halfway through. Uh, I'll let you know when you switch, but we're in that split stance. Keep pulling down, weights on that front leg. Pushing through the front leg. Make sure the foot stays nice and flat. So even weight between your heel and your toe, okay? Okay, we're going to switch sides. Really feel the abs pulling in as you pull that elbow to knee. All right, good work, everyone. So uh, one round down. Uh, we'll get up. We'll get set for our one time push up again. Shoulders are down, away from your ears. You modify this um, as you need.
All right, two down. Here we go. Good stop, good stop. Get ready for that push up again. Good find the push up. Here we go. Other side, I got to go in there, I forgot the switch, so let's see how many we get on this other side here. And I got two in there, I forgot the switch. Okay, so we're getting ready for the bird dog crunches. Ten times. Good work. So that's our second group done. Grab that drink, grab a breather as you need. Okay. So for group three, uh, we're going to start down on the ground. We're going to do our prone L raises, so we're in this position, and then we're just lifting those shoulder blades up. Um, but we'll be lying down on the ground from our raise. We'll get up and then we're going to do a sumo deadlift. So nice wide stance, hinging with the hip. Um, so similar to our sumo squat, but it's just going to be that hinging action, right? Keeping a neutral spine. And then we'll be back down on the mat on our back doing dead bugs, okay? So working on that core of strength and endurance. Okay, so we're resting. Uh, and ready to go. So we're going to start on the ground on our uh, stomach and chest, okay, for the pronoun raises. So here we go. Getting down, arm to the side, and just lifting in that L uh, leg movement with your arm. Feel those shoulder weights squeeze together.
scripture that we're uh, staying out on the mat and just getting on our stomachs because, again, it's going to be that prone L mat. Prone L. We're going to go back to rotator cuff and in between the shoulder blades. Torso's going forward a lot more, right? Opening those knees, try and keep them trapped in there, not falling in, right? And time. Okay, and then we're uh, back up and back for the dead bug again. Okay, so feet are up, hands are up, opposite limbs are reaching out, so this leg and the opposite arm, left leg, right arm, and the core stays engaged the whole time. Start feeling your low back at all, just take a little break. You should feel it in your core, but not in low back. And time. Alright. Two rounds down, one to go. Get on our stomach to where those prone L raises. Feel that in the upper back and the back of the shoulder. Done. We got one left, folks. Good work, good work. We catch our breath. Have a drink if you need. Okay. So group four, uh, we do prone and lap pull downs. So we line on the, on the mat. Chest and stomach, and doing that lat pull down movement to focus on squeezing the lats, squeezing those shoulder blades down uh, and together. Then we'll do a reverse lunge, so standing up, uh, doing a reverse lunge. We can alternate which side we're doing, and then we'll be back on the mat on our hands, a uh, nice high plank, and we'll just tap our feet uh, out to the side to work on our core. Okay, so that'll be the last one, and then we can cool it down after that. 
Stretch it out. So here we go. Down on the mat, on our stomach, on our chest. Front flat pull downs. Here we go. So the hands are up. Drag the elbows down towards the side. If you want that extra challenge, try and keep the hands off the ground the whole time. That'll just keep those little muscles in your upper back, back of the shoulders working a little bit more. And time. Okay, so we're getting up for our reverse lunge. Uh, so we're just going to be stepping back, uh, keeping everything in nice alignment here. Weights on that front leg. So weights on the front leg, and I drive up through it, and then I'll alternate to the other side, back and forth. Uh, we can go with that one. Make sure your knees are tracking in line with your toes, not falling in on you, okay? Good, or whatever pace is right for you. But make sure the form stays uh, really good. And five. Okay, so we're getting ready for our high plank tap out. So we're up in that high plank off our arms, tapping out to the sides. Here we go. So just tapping the foot out, keeping that core tight. Very little movement through the trunk if you can. You can also do this off the forearms if it's bothering your wrists at all. It's up to you. It works, so that's two down, we got one left to go. From that pull down where we start with. Keep 
that balance as well. You need to slow it down because things are getting a little tired, a little wobbly, no problem. Go at your pace. All right. Okay, and then we're going into our high plank with the tap out. Here we go, finishing strong. Keep pushing, keep the tension in the core. If you get tired, you can just pause, hold that high plank, and you do what you need. And time. All right. Good work, everyone. So that's, uh, that's our workout. Um, now we'll hit our, our cool down, okay? So as we're going through, just focus on our breathing here. And then we're going to stretch things out. So maybe you grab onto a wall, um, door frame, whatever, something to keep it nice and stable. Grab on, grab the heel, pull the heel towards the bottom, push the hip forward. Core is nice and tight so we don't arch our back. We just want that hip uh, stretch in the front of the hip, through the quad. And then we're breathing while we're stretching that out. Okay, we'll hit the other side. Balance, pushing the hip forward, core is tight. Breathe through it. Awesome, so then we stretch out the chest, so the hand goes on the wall, door frame, whatever you've got there, turning away from it. Big stretch through the front of the chest, into the shoulder and the bicep there. You can stand tall. And then make sure you're breathing through the movement, relaxing. Letting everything lengthen. Good, we'll hit the other side. Same thing, turn it away from it. And that's great. And then last one, we're going to stretch out the back side of the body. So we're just going to do a forward fold, we're going to reach up, we get the fold toward the weight of our body, pull us down, and then walk it back up. Reach. Reach. Let the weight of that body pull us down. And that's it. So great work getting through that beginner workout today. Uh, awesome stuff. Um, have a great rest of your day, and hopefully we see you back again soon. Take care, everybody.